Being consistently successful on the water is all about the little things. In the world of tournament bass fishing, mastering the fine details can translate into big outcomes. We joined Z-Man Pros David Walker and Stephen Browning on the water to gain insight into the nuances and adjustments that can help anglers of all skill levels turn an average day on the water into an epic one. Oh my God! This is Project Z, breaking down the bite. On a Bluebird Sky Day in mid-January, Z-Man Pro Stephen Browning is working a series of points. Without even utilizing his electronics, Stephen knows that points are often prime fishing spots because of their easy access to deep water and ambush points they provide for predator fish. While exploring the area, his electronics reveal a large school of bait fish holding on one of the points. Given the conditions and concentrations of bait fish in the area, Stephen positions his boat in 18 to 22 feet of water and keys in on an area 6 to 8 feet deep around the point. This leaves him with a casting distance up to 70 feet in some cases. To mimic the natural forage, Stephen has chosen to use a half ounce Project Z chatterbait paired with an Elastec Razor Shad's trailer and cast it on a 7 foot 3 inch medium heavy fast action rod that has enough power to deliver a hard hook set, yet soft enough in the tip to keep the fish buttoned up while fighting it to the boat. Stephen's setup is finished off with an 8 to 1 gear ratio bait caster spooled with 20 pound fluorocarbon line. In addition to being super sensitive and practically invisible underwater, Fluoro is heavier than monofilament or braid, which increases the sink rate and allows the lure to get into the strike zone faster. As he works the point, Stephen consistently maintains a rod angle between 2 and 3 o'clock. The key to his colder water presentation of the Project Z chatterbait is using his reel, not his rod, to move the bait through the water. With every full revolution of his reel, Stephen moves the chatterbait approximately 35 inches. Carefully watching his line to ensure bottom contact, he repeats this process, varying the number of reel turns in an attempt to mimic bait fish action, while at the same time mentally noting the specific retrieval pattern that induces a reaction strike. After feeling the fish strike, Stephen reels down and loads up his rod for the hook set. He leans straight back and sets the hook at a 90 degree angle. This occurs all in a matter of seconds. The combination of his fluorocarbon's minimal stretch, rod power, and hook set angle enables Stephen to bury the Project Z Chatterbait's heavy-duty Mustad Ultra Point hook into the fish's dense upper mouth area. The bass instinctually heads for deeper water and does everything in its power to come unbuttoned, including jumps and tail walks. To combat this, Stephen changes the angle of his rod. By doing so, he's able to control the fish namely reducing any leverage the fish generates from its above water thrashing. Steven continues to maintain pressure on the fish and uses his rod and reel to work it back to the boat where he's able to boat and release it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Leveraging prevalent seasonal structure and forage conditions and with optimal rod, reel, line and lure pairing and angler control in perfect alignment. Stephen Browning is able to successfully break down the bite. 